What is up, YouTube? This is Moobs Jav, formerly known as Prince Moobs. I say formerly because um, I stopped uploading for quite some time now and I wanted to start again and I wanted to give my channel a new theme, a new idea. Some of you guys may be thinking that I'm going to completely discard all my previous ideas like of gameplays and tutorials, but actually I'm just going to develop on them, I'm going to make them better, I'm going to bring you guys content with a lot more of, with a lot more structure. I'll be doing everything from gameplay tutorials, graphic designing tutorials, and I'll also be doing Q and A's. So yeah, guys, I've basically started again, in 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 that sense. So with your appreciation and support, I'll keep this up and I'll bring you the content you desire. That was just um, this was just a short message from me to explain to you why I changed my channel and what the reason to why um I stopped and everything. So yeah, let's get back into this tutorial now. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how you can add a skybox into the scene or the game. So, and I'm also going to be showing you how you can use the directional light. Now, as you can see here, this is the list of images for the skybox. Now, this is like the the back image, the front, the top, the bottom for like the clouds and the ground and just images and that sort of. Now, you can get these images off Google or you can get them off the asset store or you can simply design your own. But right now i just got one as an example to show you guys but i'll also uh, put a link in the description in case you want to download this specific package just to be more precise and go along with my tutorial so yeah and now what you need what you need to do now is a uh, right click and create and then you'll find an option that says material so you need to click on that now as you can see here on the right, the uh, inspector is showing us options for the skybox, how we, what we need to do, what we want to do with it and how we want to design it and add it into our game. So right now I'm just renaming the material as skybox in the projects section. You can simply drag the images and drop them in each, um, in each of the options. So, but you'll have to go along with it. Where it says front, you're going to have to add the front image of your skybox. Don't um, add them in the wrong order because then the um, sky will just look all, um, it's going to look destroyed. <laughs> so yeah. Now in order to add it to the scene, you can simply either just drag it into the scene. Or you can add a camera into your hierarchy. And then from there, go in component rendering and then skybox. And just simply drag the skybox material into skybox option but here this is a more simplified uh, method just simply dragging the skybox into the scene so now as you can see here around me the the images have fit on well so yeah this is this is what our skybox would look like now you can different images will give you different styles of the skybox like you can have nighttime afternoon morning dusk dawn whatever you like now I'm going to add a directional light. Now to do that, you'll have to go in game object and light and then select directional light. Rotating the directional light is just going to give the objects in the scene different sh um, shadows for the different angles for the shadow, sorry. And it's also going to add light into, into the overall scene of the game. So according to how you rotate it, it's going to show morning or night light and dark so it's all about how you, it's all about what angle you rotate your directional light at now in the inspector you can see i'm just going through the options for the directional light and now i've come across the shadow type now because i've got unity pro i could use the shadows but if you don't have unity pro and you want to add shadows to your game then you could look at my other upload because in my other tutorial because i explain how you could add shadows to your game it won't really be shadows, but it's more like a texture. It is a texture, actually. Now, it's good if, you, if you're if you really after adding shadows and you have a concrete structure which you're not going to move in the game. So you can just simply create a black texture and just, just paint the flooring and make it look as if it's a shadow. So yeah, that's just like, a, that's an amateur, amateur method, but... Right now, I'm showing you this, just how the directional light works, not really how the shadows work. So yeah. The intensity allows you to to alter how dark or light you want the directional light to be, how, how much the how much light you want in, in on your objects on the overall scene. 
now because I've added a 50mm zoom uh, in my flare option, I can rotate the this the flare onto the sun, so it looks as because the sun is there in the, on the skybox, so it's going to give the idea that the flare is coming from the sun, even though it's it's just a skybox. But that's how we're gonna do it for this tutorial. You can also have the sun moving along with the directional light according. So, for example, if I rotate to one angle, the sun will move and the clouds and everything will change. So that's good if you want to have like a automatic time movement, day and night, a cycle. I'll be showing you how you can do that in my other tutorials. Now I'm going to go in game object and 3D object and create a, a cube. Now I'm just going to enlarge the cube to make... Um, I'm, I'm going to use just a cube instead of a terrain because I just need to give you an example of how the directional light shadows work. Now I'm just going to place the cube on top of the, the other cube, the bottom face. I'm just going to rotate slightly, look at how you can see as I rotate the shadows change. It's according to figures of Unity Pro, but that I'm um, this example, this specific part of the tutorial is just if you have Unity Pro. I know most of you um, viewers probably don't have Unity 3D Pro, so the idea of in for this tutorial for you would be how to use the directional light as as a simple as a simple prefab. So now as you can see if I enlarge my shape even more the shadows the shadows seem to extend. So that yeah that's how it goes. Now even though I rotate the shapes, the shadows will still remain and I've added rigid bodies to each shape and as they fall to the ground, the shadows will alter with it. So yeah, that's this is basically it for this tutorial. It's it's mostly, it's mainly some features in this tutorial I would put to you with Unity Pro. So yeah, so in this tutorial I've taught you how to add a skybox into your scene. Now, if you get a skybox, the link, the link, this, this, sorry, the skybox I've used in this tutorial, I'm going to have the link in the description below, so you can just use it. I did not create that skybox; it's just an example to show you guys. And yeah, um, in my next tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how you could create animations. I'm going to go a bit deep in the animations, and I'm also going to be showing you how you can use the code for each specific animation to work. For example, a push, push a button to open a specific door. Or just animation for door going up and down or a teleporter or the objects like that anyway so yeah that's it for this tutorial guys hope it helped you um yeah so keep a lookout for my new uploads guys i am going to be uploading quite frequently now so see so yeah, i'm also going to be doing tutorials on construct 2 i am going to do other uh, development softwares as well but right now i'm just going to stay I'm just going to narrow down to only Unity 3D and Construct 2. I'm also going to be doing a lot of gameplays and reviews and Q&As, so keep a lookout for that as well. Thank you for watching, guys.